Hi boys, what's going on? So, in the background here, we have a nuclear on the map hunted. And a funny story about this real quick is my friend, I was playing with my friend, Reaper Reaps. And he actually got a nuke in this game as well. Obviously, you don't see it because it's just my POV. But he does get a nuke in the same match as me. And we both, uh, this was both of our first ever nukes on the map hunted. So, it's just, I thought it was funny. I just point that out. So, let me put this out there first, boys. I do have a cold, so I sound like a bit of a moron currently. More so than usual, some would say. And I may stop speaking here and there for a few seconds to take a drink because I still have a sore throat and stuff. But I really wanted to make this video. So, nuclear gameplay in the background. Topic, skill-based matchmaking. Is it in this game? Does it exist? How does it work? And so forth. Now, skill-based matchmaking is not in this game in a sense of advanced warfare where it was, say, for example, if I had a 3KD, I would draw against players around 3KDs. That's not what's actually going on in this game. What is happening in this game is a system i don't really know what to call it i, I guess it's it, i would guess it would call it like skill based team balancing if you want to name it so basically what it is and how it works now if you search a game it will primarily it will find players near you like near you like near your origin and like your area and where you live basically because it wants to find the best connections you can get i know connection actually apparently find you know they match with good connection in black ops 3 who would have actually known that but basically what the complaint today is boys when you find the lobby of these 12 well the 11 other individuals it then splits the teams to make them as fair as possible or so they say now what happens then is so say we have 11 players in the lobby let's just for say i have a 4kd in here and i'm the best player it will basically take the rest of the good players or the better players and match them on the opposite team against me and then give me all the players that aren't very good. Now, apparently how it's meant to work is, for example, let's say there's two players in there with 4KDs. They'll put me on one team and the other 4KD on the other team. Then they'll take two or three of the regular players and put on each team. And then the rest of the noobs will get split so that one team will say have one or two noobs and the other team will have one or two noobs. And that, that would work. And I wouldn't care about that. That would be absolutely fine if that's actually what happened. Now... Since I bought the game, since I've actually had the game on the November 6th, I've got it on PS4 and I've got it on Xbox One. And I've been playing with friends. I, I only play with friends whenever I'm playing. I don't play solo. It bores the hell out of me. So I'll be playing with like one friend maybe, for example. So we'll run two-man or three-man maximum. Maximum three-man. So look, for example, we searched today, me and my friend searched today. And we were playing uh, Domination on the PS4 for about three hours. And every single game... Our teammates would die 30 plus times each. No exaggeration, 30 plus times each. To maybe 10 to 12 kills. We had a game on Combine where they had a whole... Well, it was six guys, none of them in a party, all around third to fourth prestige. Which is already annoying in itself because they obviously they're not too bad if they're already that rank. But all of our guys were below level 30, no prestige. We had like a 30, a 26, a 19... And I think an 8 was what we had. Something around there. And none of them got more than 10 kills. But they all got more than 30 deaths. And this is apparent in every match I play. I've played this on stream. I've pointed it out on stream multiple times. Uh, some, a lot of my game players where you can see the scoreboards at the end. You'll notice that my team are just chronically negative. And it happens every game. It's not just once or twice. But every single match. Now, is there something in this game where good players... Get all the bad people on their team and then the rest of the like remaining somewhat good people in the lobby are on the other team yes why is that bad so let's for example say i play domination with one friend i have four people on my team feeding the enemy kills the enemy then get their kill streaks and can then kill me and my friend much easier because they have streaks lightning strikes uavs etc and then we get forced back into our spawn where it becomes a 2v6 situation of us trying to fight out of our spawn to retake the map. But our teammates, eight, probably, I'll say seven times out of ten to be generous, will sit in the back of our spawn and not help fight out because they don't want to die. Not understanding that not fighting out means they'll die more. And it's becoming a, just an epidemic of just ridiculousness. And I don't actually think some people realise that this is actually going on in the game. But trust me when I tell you it is. That's my little tangent over. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Thank you for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Leave a like. I really want this video to get out of there. So you can leave some likes and really force this up the views. That would be brilliant. Uh, yeah, leave a comment on your opinion. And let me know if this has happened to you because I'm getting really sick of it. Something needs to be done.
finesse team balancing von der Haar. God bless. Thank you for watching, boys. That's me out. Yeah, GG's.